Welcome to D Beaver's YouTube channel. In our previous videos, we looked at how to use the select and insert statements in your SQL queries. Today we're going to tell you about create table statements, which will help you add a new table to your database. This can be useful, for example, if you have a database with information about music albums and you want to add a table with podcasts to it. We assume you have already installed the dBeaver community app and created a sample SQLite database. If you don't know how to download and install the application, follow the link in the description or click on the tooltip on the right-hand side of the screen. Let's open the SQL editor and look at the basic syntax of a create table statement. Creating a basic table involves naming the table and defining its columns and each column's data type. First, you need to enter the keywords create table, give your new table a name, and then list the names of the columns in brackets, specifying the data type for each of them. Various data types used in SQL databases deserve a separate lesson. Today we'll be using two of the most basic ones, numeric, INT, and string, var char size. The INT data type is used in most databases to store numbers. The varchar data type can contain letters, numbers, and special characters, which is why it's commonly used for names, addresses, descriptions, and other string data. Let's create a new table called podcast in our sample database. To do this, enter the following. Create table podcast, left parentheses, id int, comma, podcast name, varchar, left parentheses, 255 right parentheses, comma, Author name, varchar, left parentheses, 255, right parentheses, right parentheses. After completing the query, you will see a message about the successfully created table. At this point in time, the table has zero rows. We already know how to add new records to the table. Let's do it one more time and execute the query. Insert into podcast values left parentheses one comma Joe Rogan experience comma Joe Rogan right parentheses now we can look at the contents of our new table by running a select query select asterisk from podcast when we refresh the navigation tree we will see this table in the list let's try to open it and look in the properties tab we can see that all the column names and data types are exactly what we wanted. Now, let's open the data tab. Look, this is exactly the row that we added to the table. Great job. Now you know how to create new tables in your databases. In our next video in this series, we'll teach you how to use other basic SQL statements. If you do not want to miss the next chapters, subscribe to our channel and click on the bell to receive notifications. Thanks for watching and see you in our next video.